So we are gradually taking over the world with our strategy. And uh, the next thing we want to do is um, right here, we will remove the user ID. We never really need it. So we will remove. So we'll go to um, accounts under fields. Nobody needs the user ID um, to show. So we'll remove it. We don't want it to show anywhere. So the second one is okay. Um, we don't want non. Let me refresh this first. We only want admin to have access to editing the the balance, the total debit, total credit. These three items we don't want anybody uh, but admin to be able to uh, touch that. All right. So balance, total debit, total credit. So we'll do an end if here. End if. Then we'll go up there. So we'll go up here and do an if. If remember how we know it's an admin, if the user that is viewing this has a row ID that is less than three, or let's say um, that is equal to one. The reason why we're doing equal to one is that we don't want um, the staff to be um, adding money to people's account and going to withdraw it, something like that. So we refresh. Beautiful. So. I'm viewing it as a buyer, so I can't see my account balance uh, there, all right? So it makes sense, makes a lot of sense. Now what we can do is account withdrawal method, okay? Um, anybody can change it, bank value, whatever, paid. Now, um, this should be hidden too. Paid should be hidden or non-existent. Uh, paid should be non-existent, where is it, paid? Um, Admin shouldn't be able to manually adjust. Okay, well, admin should be able to do that. So we come and add it only to the admin. But it just generally depends on how you want to build uh, the application. All right. So by default, it should be zero. Depends on how you want to build your application. Now, last date paid. Uh, should be gone. Last date applied should be gone. So last date applied. That applied for payout. Last date applied. So this will be automatically added by the system. That's why I don't want anybody to have access to editing it. And uh, we refresh. Next month says apply for payout. This should be out. Applied for payout should be out still. So only the system our software should be able to do that all right good so we have a um, withdrawal method paypal withdrawal okay uh, remember that we changed this withdrawal where is it with withdrawal you need to change this to otherwise the withdrawal method will not update on your page withdrawal reload and um all is fine all right we draw method bank see it makes sense now so if somebody wants to edit their account they should just show up here and type in uh, details about their account and uh, click submit period now one more thing we can do is to actually spit out the name of the account so we can go to um edit at the top of here we can do something like this remember the last time we did it we had account variable. Account variable is available to this page. Look at it here too. It's available to this page. So we can access the user and um, access the email. So if we come here and refresh, we should see the user's email. Beautiful. So even if admin is trying to edit this page and they come here, they will know whose account is this. All right. And then. Um, Something else we can do is to remove this cancel. So at the bottom here, uh, surprise, surprise, it's in fields. Go to fields at the bottom. We're looking for cancel. The culprit, look at it. The last one here is cancel. If I pan to the right, you will see that it's cancel, you see? So I'm going to delete the cancel. This should be deleted. Hit enter, save, refresh. And we're good. We're good generally. Beautiful. One more thing you may want to do is to make this a link that points to the user's profile. 
So if we go to a bit, so here we can just do a href. The href is pointing to slash users slash the user ID. But in this case, we're just going to copy exactly what we have here and um, enter it as user ID. We'll say user, we'll go to ID. Okay. Then we're not going to put this guy here to close. Hit enter and then we'll close the A tag, the anchor tag. Beautiful. Now if we refresh, this becomes a link and um, if you click on it, you end up in the user's profile. This is user experience and it's beautiful, beautiful user experience. So um, basically I think that's that's it. That's it and then um, we'll have to um, do one or two more things. For instance, viewing your account. Viewing your account. If we click on this, it should display the account. Oh, well, I'm logged out. Click on here. So this is the account, you see. So when you view your account, uh, we need to rearrange this uh, account view page to look really cool. See you in the next video.